One minute, 47 seconds, sir. Not too shabby, sir. The dead 007 dead. So easy. The pretext Stalin needs to have me gone. Seat his cronies in the saddle, Voroshilov, Budyeni. Cavalry teakheads who think we can gallop to the Brandenburg Gate. Well, Russia would be safer with their horses in command. No rockets then. No Marshal Mikhail Tukhachevsky. No Red Army. Leningrad naked to bombardment from the sky. Willingly, sir. There are differences between us, let us not forget that. Oh, your feelings are mine, Stanley. You needn't put them into words. As long as it is understood. It, it is understood. Then perhaps we may at least speak together. Have you been into the village this morning? No, not yet. The problem I must solve, which has kept me at my studies most of the night. The Bradshaws have gone. The whole village is ready to fight. Yes, follow. that was it. If they run away, the infection will spread. Well, there's only one answer. The enormity of it staggers me. What? The village must be enclosed, and I must have guards posted. I must impose a discipline as strict as if this were war. No one must enter or leave the village until the plague is over. Harry! Who knows how many days you have left? But we are most honored that you have chosen to spend that time with us. Please. Oh. Oh. Did, did I not off? <laughs> My friend's views grown with this growing age. A dearer birth than this his love had brought to march in ranks of better equipage. But since he died, and poets better prove. Yes, of their style I'll read. His for his love.